Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Search here today. I'm continuing the Tunnel 14 Let's Play here on the channel. Right now, we have two out of these six builders, but within the next couple days, we'll have some extra builders available, which means we're going to be getting all five of these builder huts up to level two. Each one of these will cost 7.6 million gold, so we're going to be getting a bunch of gold in today's video to be able to upgrade these five builder huts. We're also going to be upgrading things from these three different buildings here, one in the lab, a thing in the pet house, and the queen up to level 78 because the reason for that is because we have a bunch of runes that we can spend around the base. So we're going to be doing, uh, probably using the gold and the dark elixir rune in today's video, probably saving the elixir rune for something else in the future. But before we head on to the video, I just want to mention that if you're going to enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already to see more of Tunnel 14 content just like this. Thank you all for watching. Let's head on to the upgrades. And starting off here, we're going to have to do one attack on the base here because we don't have enough dark elixir to upgrade one of the pets in the lab. And today's upgrade for the pet is the Lassie up to at level 3. It's 104,000 Dark Elixir, and right now we have 101,000 Dark Elixir, and I just collected the uh, treasury, but I uh, thought I was recording and I wasn't actually recording, so uh, we collected that. It was 2 million gold and Elixir as well. That's why we have 11.5 million gold and 13.2 million Elixir on the base now. We're going to be using the hybrid attack strategy inside of Titan League today. So we're going to be doing a couple of attacks, getting us some loot to be able to upgrade the Builder Huts and the uh, Lab upgrade, the Pet in the Pet House, and the Archer Queen up to level 78. So let's head out for an attack, and I'll come back once you find a base. And this doesn't take too long to actually find a base, probably about two or three searches before we found this base here, 600,000 of each and 8,000 Dark Elixir. We're going for the Dark Elixir right now, so we can upgrade one of the pets, the Lassie, inside of the Pet House. We're going to go from the bottom uh left actually we'll go from the left side of the base here dropping the queen with the healers to go into the base hopefully luring out the clan castle here we are going to drop the baby dragon on the left side here and we'll drop the uh, wall breaker going in we'll drop the headhunters to take down the enemy royal champ there pretty easily drop a raid spell for the queen to, to keep her up a little bit longer she will use her ability which is not what we want drop one more wall breaker going into the base here breaking him through that wall there isn't a clan castle which is good We'll drop the king towards the bottom with the, uh, the siege barracks there. Dropping one more wall breaker and we'll go from the left side here with the uh, miners dropping the warden. And then a couple seconds later we will drop the uh, hogs going into the base here. The queen will go down and his healers will go down as well to the air defense and the scatter shot. We have the heal spell and a raid spell that we can use. We'll use a poison spell on the... Uh, uh, enemy king at the bottom there. We'll use a ray spell through the core of the base here. We'll drop a free spell on the eagle and that inferno tower and one more freeze on the left side there. We'll drop a uh, heal in the core using the uh, the warden's ability dropping the last raid spell as well as that freeze on that uh, scatter shot on the right side there. Hopefully we can get the uh, three star in this one. We're heading to the right side of the base here to probably take out the rest of the base we already got the two star, we're at 76% with a minute and a half left on the uh, clock there. So we should be able to get this easy three star on this town of 14 for the plus 28 trophies and around eight, about eight or 9,000 Dark Elixir. We already have enough to upgrade the Lassie once we head back from this attack here. We also have 12.1 uh, million gold on the base. We'll use the Royal Champ's ability, taking down the last little bit of the buildings, and we'll get this 3 star on this town of 14 there. Very, very good. We got 12.4 uh, million gold as well, so we could probably upgrade one or two of the uh, Builder Huts before we head on to a couple more attacks to be able to get some more loot on the base. We'll start off the upgrades now over to the Pet House here, upgrading the Lassie up to level 3. Uh, we actually had the Unicorn up to level 5 if we had enough Dark Elixir, but we obviously don't. So we're going to get the Lassie up to level 5, 104,000 Dark Elixir upgrade in a 3 day, 4 hour time there. We'll get that going down there for the next 3 days. We have a Book of Heroes, but we're going to be using that on the Queen now. So we're actually going to go over to the Town Hall here and we'll use the Rune of Dark Elixir and we'll use the uh, Book of Heroes on the queen here getting this up to level 78 here very very good and we'll use the uh, book of heroes on this 
254,000 Dark Elixir upgrade and we'll use the Book of Heroes on her to keep her up so we can use her in the rest of the attacks uh, leading up to upgrading the rest of the Builder Huts. Speaking of upgrading the Builder Huts, why don't we actually start off with upgrading one of them and the reason for this is because we have five of them and it's about 30 million to be able to upgrade all five of them up to level two. So we'll start with the first one here. It's an eight day upgrade and a 7.6 million gold upgrade here. So we'll get this going up to level two. We'll farm up a bit more, getting up to about 20 million, I think it is, or it's about 14 million or 15 million. I'm not too sure. I have to do a little bit of math on that. And then we'll come back and use a rune of gold and get the rest of the Builder Huts up to level 2. And we found a base here, Town Hall 13 with 650,000 of each. I did a little bit of attacking off camera and we're almost up to uh, 20 million elixir which is very very good. So we're going to be dropping the queen at the bottom right, or just the bottom here, with the uh, queen charge or queen walk going into the base. We'll see which side of the base she will go towards and then we'll head over and drop a wall breaker for her. She will attack these uh, two gold storages, taking both of them down. We'll see where she goes after this and she'll go up to the top. So we'll drop a wall breaker for her there. We'll find a baby dragon on the right there as well. And we'll eventually make our way in, probably drop a right spell because there's a ton of defenses targeting her here. Drop the uh, king with the siege break at the top of the base. Drop in another wall breaker for her there. Wall break in towards the bottom here on those expos because you'll probably go down towards there afterwards. The unicorn will go down and we'll start dropping the miners with the warden here going into the base. We're going to have to use a free spell on the queen and that's single but she will go down to uh, the heroes and the inferno tower there. Drop a heal and a rage through the core of the base. Drop a freeze on those two scatter shots. Also use the Warren's ability going through the core of the base, getting that second star or the first star. We still don't have the 50% uh, here just yet. We'll get it here in a couple of seconds and we'll get up that second star uh, right about now, which is very, very good. Uh, we still have a heal spell that we can use, which we'll use on the top left of the base. We don't have any more heroes, so we'll drop them, the headhunters, towards the top of the base. Double poison spell and the clan castle rage and freeze, but we don't really need to use that anymore. Because uh, we'll probably get this three star on this town of 13 here. We're up to 10 million gold. We need about 15 million to be able to get the rest of the builder huts upgraded before we can use the rune of gold. We'll use the royal champs ability, take down the last little bit of the buildings, and we'll get the three star on this town of 13 uh, for the plus 650,000 of each with the uh, loot bonus there as well for another 300,000 of each there. And we're getting close to be able to upgrade the uh, another pet inside of the pet house. I haven't been attacking that much because I've been working on other accounts. But now we have enough to upgrade something inside of the lab, which is what we wanted to do for today, which is upgrading the wall breakers up to level 10 here. 12.8 million elixir upgrade and a 12 and a half day time. So we'll let this run out for the entirety of the 12 days there. And very, very good. We're down to about 6 million elixir. We don't really have anything else to spend it on besides the uh, pets, or not the pets, the, uh, the the warden and some of the walls. Uh, we still have about four days, five, about five days on that builder hut. Haven't been on this account since we upgraded that blast builder hut. So we have about 15 million to be able to upgrade the uh, last two builder huts. We'll actually collect the loot there up to 12 million. So we're going to do a couple more attacks and we'll come back for one more attack and we will get the Builder Huts uh, upgrading after we do one more attack. And we found what looks to be the final raid of the day here at time of 14 worth 900,000 gold. We're gonna go from the top of the base here, taking out this Dark Elixir with the Queen and the Healers heading towards the base here. We'll drop the Wall Breaker going in once she takes out this last drill here. We'll drop it now going into the base. We'll probably drop another one as well immediately Hopefully that she does go into the base drop and a baby dragon on the right side. And we'll also drop a freeze for that inferno tower. We'll probably drop a rage for her there as well. Heading in towards that inferno tower, hopefully taking it down before she takes down or she gets taken down and she does take down the inferno tower there. And we don't have a clan castle inside of the siege break, which is completely fine. We'll actually drop the last bar breaker for the queen. I don't think she will go over to uh the eagle here but we'll just drop it 
just because we dropped the king towards the bottom here and I should have dropped him on that elixir storage but they'll head down anyways so we'll drop the miners on the right here with the warden and we'll also drop the hogs going into the base here as well with the royal champ we have the king that we're gonna have to use his ability here and we'll also drop a heal for these guys in the uh, bottom right of the base taking down that first scatter shot and we have all the cannons in the core for some reason here we have a race wall that we'll probably use now as well as another heal we have one more freeze that we can use the king went down a while ago and we have a the warden's ability that we'll use now we'll freeze the town hall and hopefully this royal champ can take down the uh, town hall on her own and she's in the rate spell as well so she will take it down on her own very very good we'll head down to the bottom of the base here we have a uh, hero that's still up but it looks like it is just uh, that went down there we we'll use the royal champ's ability to take down the scatter shot and a couple of other defenses we'll get this three star on this town hall 14 here for that uh, the million over a million with the loop bonus there as well very very good we'll head back to the base once this raid ends we have about 50 seconds left on the raid we we'll use the queen's ability heading over and taking down the last little bit of the buildings to get the three star on this tunnel 14 very very good we'll head back and we'll upgrade the final four buildings on the base here and we also have uh the, the loop bonus that we out oh, the star the star bonus that we just got now and we also have the clan games that's on right now that we did just uh complete very very good and we will actually collect the uh treasury there up to 17 million now which i shouldn't have actually collected that now that we're going to be using a gold room but we can just use it on the walls if we need to and we'll start off the final bit of upgrades upgrading something in the pet house since we have enough dark elixir to upgrade something in here we're going to upgrade the lassie up to level four almost getting it up to level five we have two uh pets that will be up to level four to start working on the owl as well as the yak but we'll get the lassie there 116,000 dark elixir on that pet there very very good and we'll head on to the final four upgrades of the day here on the builder huts we'll get this first one here 7.6 million gold upgrade in an eight day time which is every single one of these builder huts going to level two here we'll get that first one down there and we'll also get the next one here before we use the rune on the uh, the gold storage is there we're up to 1.7 million but i think we can use this on the wall it will be about 177,000 gold on the base we'll head over to the gold storages and we'll use the rune of gold on that and fill up the entirety of the storages we're up to 20 million now because we upgraded all of the storages on the base very very good and we'll upgrade the final two boulder huts on the base here up to level two the first one going to level two and we'll all finish around the exact same time here as well besides that first one that we upgraded about four days ago we'll get this final boulder hut going to level two very very good the final upgrade of the day here and there we go getting that last boulder hut all five of them upgrading at the exact same time very very good we'll move over the pet house and we'll move the town hall up to these builder huts here as well for a nice little shot to end off the video here very very good and with us getting all of the builders upgraded which is our main goal for today's video it looks like it is going to do it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed it and if you did and you want to see some more tunnel 14 content just like this make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace out